a surgery I had as an infant rendered me infertile for the rest of my life. I don't believe that any sort of child support that would be going to her would actually go towards use of anything for the child. I'd, I'd really rather not have to pay child support to someone who I know will go out and spend the money on herself or the new guy that she may happen to be with. Because like she said, she's going to be taking care of another man with my money. And I'm very upset, Judge Evans. First, I would like the court to take judicial notice of the Uniform Interstate Family Support Act petition that was filed November 1 of 2022 and the um, general testimony attached there to establishment of, of child support, including medical support, that the child um, does, not have, does not have health coverage. So that's going to be an issue. There's an affidavit of non-disclosure. Um, it says that she's unable to produce evidence, though? Yeah, um, it says that uh, unable to produce corroborating evidence, but she does say that um, in order to protect herself and her family, that she is requesting a non-disclosure. Okay, we'll see where this goes, um, Mr. Dehamesha, um, but because Mr. Bernard is objecting to it, I'm assuming he's going to present some evidence and there's no one here to discredit it and this is not a very detailed affidavit so we'll, we'll see where this goes you, you can present your case please um, state your name for the record Travis Baynard Mr. Baynard um, uh, what do you do for a living uh, right now I'm just a full-time college student okay and how long um, have you been a college student uh, almost two years now. Okay. Have you, um, what was the last, what was the last place you worked? Uh, it was AutoNation Toyota. Okay. And, and, uh, when did you leave that job? The month and year, if you can remember. I don't remember the exact month. Uh, year would be... 2021. I know it was sometime in the middle towards the end of the year, though. I just can't remember the exact month. Are you able, are, do you have a um, a reasonable um, access to uh, medical and dental insurance? Uh, medical for myself, yes, through the VA. Uh, dental, no. Are you able to um, provide medical and dental for the child in this case? I'm honest. I'm gonna have to say no. Uh, I can barely afford rent, let alone anything else for myself or anybody else. So I want to give him a chance to explain, um, sir. Is there anything you'd like to say? The state doesn't represent you, um, so this is your chance to let me know kind of where you are on all this and what you're thinking. Uh. Honestly, I'm just, I'm genuinely confused on how it came back positive, uh, mostly due to a surgery I had as an infant, um, rendered me infertile for the rest of my life, but miracles happen, I guess. Um, at least I now know without a shadow of a doubt, which is nice. I just wish that I'd be able to see and speak with him. Okay. Um, are you contesting? I, all that's really before me is child support, medical support, back child support, and whether or not her address and phone number and information is going to be disclosed. Um, are you contesting any of those issues? Uh, yeah, I honestly can't afford any of it, for one. Um, and also, I don't believe that any sort of child support that would be going to her would actually go towards use of anything for the child. Uh, that is actually a very genuine concern I have. I am very familiar with her spending habits and what she does. Um, yeah, I'd, I'd really rather not have to pay child support to someone who I know will go out and spend the money on herself or the new guy that she may happen to be with.
Um, I just don't trust that it would go to where it's supposed to be going to. Going to. And so it sounds like you're not working at this time? No. Are you looking for work? No, I'm focusing solely on my college education and then going to be focusing on opening my own business, hopefully before I graduate, if I can make it work. If I can't, then as soon as I graduate. Okay, so you, do you have any plans for how to support this child? No, I won't lie. I haven't had to worry about it in years due to, again, not being able to see nor speak with him. And I, I haven't worried about it because I've been trying to get my own life in order after everything that happened happened. And I fell into a pretty large debt. And I'm slowly crawling out of it. Um, Mr. DeHamesha, would you like to make a closing? Um, yes, Your Honor. Um, so um, the genetic testing, you know, shows that he is the father. So um, we can move forward with this with this case, um, we, the, the state would request that because he is a student, uh, that child support be based on minimum wage. Um, and because the child doesn't have um, insurance, we'd ask that he'd also pay $25 a month towards um, a cash medical towards that um, a governmental um, health plan that uh, the obligee will maintain um that we'd ask for the general testimony says that there's been no payments since April 13 2022 so there's 9 months in 2022 and 11 months in 2023 that's 20 months of of back child support and if we use the um the minimum wage calculation, which I have 1256.67 gross, $25 uh, into cash medical, one case here in zero children outside this case, I showed that the guideline child support being 225 per month, which we'd ask that both these start December 1st. But if we take the $225 and multiply by the 20 months in back child support, it's four thousand five hundred dollars, and we'd ask that that he paid that back at thirty dollars a month, also starting December first. And since he's in essentially an agreement as to the non-disclosure, we'd ask to non-disclose as well for um, the obligee in this case. Um, Sir Bernard, do you have anything else you'd like to say in closing? Uh, other than I'm about to be living on the street again, uh, I just have a question. Um, what if I, I've put some serious thought into this, but what if I waive all parental rights? What, where does that lead me? Sir, nobody on this call can give you legal advice. Um, you'd have to consult a private lawyer to do that. I can only rule on issues that are before me and pled. Um, and the only pleading before me is the Uniform Interstate Family Support Act petition. Okay. And you well, and you and your honor, I would object to that because he doesn't have any pleadings on file to ask for things like that. Yes, it's not before me. So I can't address that, sir. And I'm here to rule on cases I am not. 
permitted to give legal advice, it would be a violation of ethical codes and improper. That's fair. Uh, so how would I go about doing that? You are free to go to a law library. You're free to contact a lawyer. Um, there's, you're free to Google it. Um, you're free to use texaslawhelp.org may have information. Um, you'd have to do it yourself, sir. You'd have to take some initiative and figure out how to do it yourself through one of those means. Okay, in the meantime, I'm gonna rule on the pleading. Um, there is a child at issue. I am going to proceed today. I don't think the pleading actually asks me to establish paternity, um, but I'm finding you are the father of the child based on genetic testing. I am going to order child support based on minimum wage. Um, so I'm ordering that you pay $225 each month beginning December 1st, 2023, towards child support. And I'm also going to order $25 per month. So, so you're ordered to pay $25 per month beginning December 1st, 2023 for back child support. I'm going to order the requested back child support for the time requested. I'm going to order $4,000 back child support. And I'm ordering that he pay that back at a rate of $30 a month, getting December 1st of 2023. I am also ordering him into the choices program um, to help find a job. Um, so that this is all possible. And they will work with the fact that you're a student. Um, so be sure to let, to let them know that you are in school. Uh, that, that's not really what I'm worried about when it comes to it. But... Well, it's, it's, I'm concerned about this child being supported. So I, that's my order. Um, the Attorney General's <laughs> office is going to draft a, the order based on my ruling today. And they'll be sending it to you through DocuSign to review and to sign off on. And yep. uh, your Honor, um, what, yeah, yes. One last thing. I'm sorry. Uh, did you rule on the non-disclosure, ma'am? Oh yes. Since everyone's in agreement, I'll approve the non-disclosure. But definitely no finding of family violence or anything like that. Um, yes. There's been no evidence. And honestly, if you can just say by agreement of the parties and not even say it's because I I honestly don't have enough evidence to support that there's concerns um, or that it's needed to protect her. So if you can just use language that it's by agreement. That's I'll do it, Your Honor. Okay. Non-disclosure by, by agreement, I'll do it. Um, you stated that you just, you can't do the child support. Um, you understand that if you're not able to pay the child support that was ordered, then you're not gonna be able to have the funds to take, take care of the girls on a regular basis because you're only ordered to pay $300 a month and $50 for medical. And you understand that the expense for the girls is gonna be way more than $350 a month. Oh, yes, but I also have my own bills to pay and 